Hello guys, welcome to Insta Electronics. So in today's episode, I am going to show you guys how you can make a simple LED flashing circuit like this one. So uh, in this case, I am using a red LED. So let me turn the lights back on. In this case, I am using a red LEDs right here. You can see, and it's because I have been using this thing as an indicator light for my bicycle. You know, I do cycling as an exercise, and I usually ride at early mornings and after sunset. So th during those times, you really need something like this, so that you will get attention on the street by other vehicles that are passing nearby you. So even though the purpose of this this particular device is to function as uh, a tail light for your bicycle, you can basically connect this you can build one and connect it to any uh, vehicles so what this circuit does is very really simple and the whole cost for making this thing is uh, below 30 Indian rupees and in this case I have uh, I got everything for free because every single component except the IC is uh, salvaged from other devices and speaking of the IC you can see I'm powering it from a single uh, power bank like this one. So this is the circuit that I'm using. This is the triple five timer, the very versatile electronic IC, the NA triple five. And you can see this is a very limited component count. There is this IC, couple of resistors, and a couple of capacitors. That's it. So it's just five component device and the circuit itself is really small this is a coin and you can see the circuit is in fact really tiny and the LEDs right here are also salvaged from a toy or something and if you notice you can see the two LEDs are connected in series the this is a common wire and the two LEDs are connected in series and also I have not connected any resistors at all that's because the current uh, is current output is really low it's not going to damage the LEDs in any way so the circuit diagram for this particular circuit will appear on the screen right now so uh, this thing is based on a triple five wired in an a stable multi vibrator circuit so an a stable multi vibrator will produce a continuous square wave output and in this case I have connected the output of the IC which is the pin number 3 to the LEDs so two LEDs are connected in series to the output of the triple uh, five IC so uh, this is the square wave that is coming out of the IC triple five which the across which is at the pin number 3 so in my case the LEDs are connected this way the pin number 3 is connected to two LEDs connected in series see like that so in this way the LEDs will only light up when the output is at uh, 5 volts that means when the output is high like that um, the since the VCC is also 5 volt the this will be a little bit lower than 5 volt but let's say 5 volts so when the output is 5 volts it is going to be passing through these LEDs to the ground which makes them light up and the other way you can connect this circuit is the exact opposite you can connect the LEDs at this way also this is the second way of connecting the LEDs in this case of course the LED is going to light up when the output is uh, turned off because otherwise this is VCC and this when the output is low this is uh, 5 volts and this is 0 when the output turns low this point will become 0 volts so the VCC can flow through the diodes to the IC that will also make them light up but in my case I chosen the other way I connected across this point you can choose whichever uh, point you want does not matter but one thing you have to keep in mind is if you are connecting across the VCC and ground rail then you must be using a correct suitable resistor because otherwise it's going to damage the 
uh, IC itself. So the safe way is to actually deliver the current through the pin 3 to the LEDs. That way the uh, IC itself is somewhat managing the current, somewhat limiting the current. So uh, let's measure the current. Let's connect the meter and I'm plugging it in. And you can see the LED is blinking and you can notice two things first is that the power bank itself is turned off you can see there is only the LED is flashing and this one is lighting up but the power bank hasn't turned on that is because the current row is so small that the circuit inside the power bank is not detecting that uh, a device a load has been connected and also the, it also tells us that the current uh, consumption is less than 10 milliamps because this has a minimum resolution of 10 milliamps and the current draw is less than that so let's use the uh, multimeter and let's put it in uh, current mode let's say uh, 200 milliamps okay so I finally managed to uh, get a good grip on the circuit you can see the LED is flashing oops there it goes this is <laughs> this is ah see the LED is flashing and the current consumption is only 4 point let's say 4.3 milliamps so that is really low power uh, consumption 4.3 milliamps so that means even a, a sing, like a dead 18650 cell with a low capacity of less than 100 milliamps can power up the circuit for pretty much a day or something and that makes it an excellent choice because if you build this circuit and if you attach a USB cable to this you can use your mobile phone itself the OTG connector or you can use a power bank like this one and it, it will just keep on going forever that's how low the power consumption is so I'm not going to be uh, explaining the uh, circuit diagram here because as you as I told a couple of times the circuit diagram will appear here and also I forgot to mention one thing the duty cycle of this thing is more than 50 percent the duty cycle is the on duration between the on and off uh, time period in a square wave so in this case this is more than 50 percent and also this the flashing rate is 4 hertz maybe 5 hertz I believe so the capacitor value is chosen in a way that the capacitor value and the resistor value is chosen in a way that the output frequency is at 5 hertz so 5 hertz is a much visible frequency the camera is not picking it up properly but still for the human eyes the 5 hertz is actually very much visible as a proper on and off signal so others can actually pick this up pick up this uh, sensation really uh, easily so the circuit diagram will also uh, be posted in a way that the output frequency is at uh, 5 hertz if you want to change the frequency uh, please watch uh, please download the application that I mentioned in my previous video which I shall upload up I shall uh, attach the I button up here in that inside that application you will have a triple five timer calculator you just enter the frequency you need and it will calculate the resistor capacitor value for you basically the higher the frequency you wanted the lower the capacitance and uh, the lower the frequency you should use a high value capacitor but this 5 hertz is a really nice effect so I'm uh, the circuit diagram will also be uh, posted with the free, uh, components that are used for the 5 hertz frequency range anyways uh, thanks for watching this uh, circuit ha can be reassembled really fast you can try it so uh, yeah that's it for today's video see you in another video